I, I'm not really interested in that. There's a Jason Schreier update, however, on the Bayonetta former voice actor uh, calling for fans to boycott the new game, saying she was offered 4000 to work on it. Her Twitter videos went viral and stoked debate over voice actor uh, wages, but the full story is much more complicated. Hate to say, uh, you know, I, I uh, take a W on that one as well because I did think that there was more to the story. As you recall, I talked about, like, uh, what the additional reasons uh, could have been. Platinum offered Helena Taylor between 3 to K uh, to 4K per session at least five sessions, according to two people familiar with the deal and documentation provided by Bloomberg, which, by the way, I think is still a low wage. Um, okay. Um, in response, people said Taylor asked for a six-figure fee and residuals negotiations fell apart. Taylor denies his account in an email to Bloomberg. She called that version of events an absolute lie and said that Platinum is trying to save their ass and this game. Taylor's videos have received more than 9.5 million views on Twitter and led to a deluge of calls from fans and pundits to boycott Bayonetta 3. Uh, but accounts and evidence reviewed by Bloomberg make it clear that those videos were not the whole story. Taylor's videos also led to a barrage of Twitter vitriol and harassment towards platinum developers and new band and a, a voice actor, Jennifer Hale, who put out a statement saying she could not comment and subsequently retweeted a telling thread. It's unlikely that the full story will get as much traction or as many eyeballs as the original Twitter videos, which, in my opinion, raises some interesting questions about the pleas to emotion and how information is disseminated in the social media age. Now, the reason why I am, uh, the reason why I, like, Jason Schreier is consistently on the side of workers. Do not say Bloomberg Pepela working for corporations but behalf because it is very obvious that you are unfamiliar with the work of Jason Schreier. He is literally first to report on unionization issues. That is completely, uh, that, that is, completely unacceptable in this situation i will ride for him um like i said i i think that uh this person got fucked over i think the bayonet is former voice actor did get fucked over we talked about uh you know how complicated these instances are we talked about how uh in a lot of these uh instances like there's um you know there's a lack of care for western audiences or like western voice actors for the most part but Gamergate Freak still hanging around with Kotaku and Schreier hate? No, uh, Schreier is a, is a great journalist. He's a transphobe pro-cop racist? Okay, I don't give a shit, okay? I don't care. What the fuck do you mean? Like, oh, she's transphobic and a pro cop racist. Okay, I guess she doesn't deserve the, the dignity of adequate pay. Like, what, what's the argument you're making there? No, they're not talking about Jason. They're talking about the other uh, lady who came out and said, like, they offered me only 4K. You know? Huh. <sighs> Bayo's English voice is her voice. There was no Japanese dub for the first game. Twenty k for a game that makes millions. Yeah, okay, Asan, you sound like you're signing with the corpos. How much is Arasaka paying you? Well, I never said that that was adequate. heartbreaking the worst person you know still deserves to be paid a fair wage yep there it is it's true it's 100 percent true it's literally true that is how this works okay like people have the capacity to change their attitude change their minds people what you specifically said it wasn't what Why does it feel like this stream in particular is put words in Hassan Abi's mouth? They know that's every stream. I don't know what the going rates are, but if you're getting paid out, um, if you're getting paid out uh, 20 grand for a multi-million dollar franchise that you're the sole fucking voice on, you're the main voice on. Yeah. I don't think that that is uh, adequate, right? 
New reports suggest that Band of the Three's voice actor, Helena Taylor, was offered at least 15000 to reprise her role in the game. Which, by the way, even then, it's like not necessarily that great of a pay. For, so I, I will maintain that position. But yes, uh, demanding residuals is adequate. Demanding more pay in this situation is totally fucking... Um, you know, it's, it's totally valid. Um, I think that that's fair. You don't have to be like a perfect person with, uh, with great opinions overall in order to get uh, paid decently. Uh, new evidence has emerged. The bandit of voice actor Helena Taylor was offered at least 15,000 to reprise a role in the forthcoming sequel. Contrary to her claims, a new report by Bloomberg, which was that, which has then since been corroborated by VGC cites documentation, as well as two pe uh, people familiar with the negotiations who said that platinum attempted to hire Taylor for five sessions lasting four hours apiece, each of which would have been 3000 and 4,000. Okay, $1,000 an hour is pretty solid. According to VGC, this would have been a significant increase of Taylor's fee from the second game. According to the... According to the report, Taylor rejected these terms, asked for a six-figure sum and residuals instead. Um, even though a even though thousand dollars is pretty good, residuals is, I think, a completely reasonable thing to demand. I love when, by the way, I love when neats sitting in their fucking crusty underwear at home goes a thousand dollars an hour. I'd do it. Yeah. Well, you're not a fucking professional voice actor, dog. Like, yeah, of course. Like, there's a difference between someone like this lady, okay, and you. Because, you know, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of work that went into it. They learned about it. Like, come on. Motherfuckers would be like, bro, I, I, I'd do it right now for $100. Yeah, exactly. Which is precisely why you're not doing it. And you didn't audition. Needs to do the same shit when athletes go on strike. Yeah, exactly. It's like, bro, no one is watching your ass try and fail the dunk. No one's watching my ass try and fail the dunk. Okay? But there's still plenty of issues with the way that she went about this. Specifically shitting on Jennifer Hale who is the new voice actor that they hired instead. But when they hired a voice actor that is a bigger name for this role, that's what was immediately suspicious to me. If you remember, I talked about this. One of the first things that I, one of the first things that I considered to be rather weird was the fact that they went with a more expensive voice actor, right? They went with a more expensive voice actor. If their goal was to nickel and dime, they would have not done that. They would have went with someone else Someone else that they could have definitely fucking abused and exploited even better than someone who had already established herself as the voice of Bayonetta. According to the report, Taylor rejected these terms, asked for a six-figure sum of residuals instead. After lengthy negotiations, Platinum subsequently hired Jennifer Hale to take on the role of Bayonetta. Taylor reportedly declined a subsequent offer of a cameo for the fee of one session. Taylor called the report an absolute lie in statements of both Bloomberg and VC, uh, VGC, claiming that Platinum was trying to save their ass in the game. She also said that she stands by everything in the video. I would like to put this whole bloody franchise behind me, quite frankly, and get on with my life in the theater. She wrote, The band of the three exploded into view over the weekend when Taylor tweeted multiple videos claiming that she only uh, offered 4000 in return for the sequel while urging fans to boycott the game. Director Hideki Kamiya tweeted that it was sad and deplorable about the attitude of untruth. This motherfucker, I don't know if this is like getting lost in translation here from Japanese to English, or if my dude just straight up speaks in, in haikus, okay? This is poetry. This is not, okay, anyway, that's besides the point. This is before he, of course, blocked everyone on Twitter for the crime of speaking English. While Hale replied that she supports every actor's right to be paid well, but that she was not at liberty to speak on the situation. Voice actors across the industry shared their support for Taylor, opening a broader discussion about pay in actors for gaming, as noted by Steven Totilo. The sag afra union minimum is 1000 per session with no residuals. Nintendo has been contacted for comment, and this story will be updated with any 
additional statements. Um, Jennifer Hale, this is this was her statement, by the way. With regards to Bayonetta 3, as a longtime member of the voice acting community, I support every actor's right to be paid well and have advocated consistently for this for years. Anyone who knows me or has followed my career will know that I have great respect for my peers and that I am an advocate for all members of the community. I am under an NDA and I'm not at liberty to speak regarding the situation. My reputation speaks for itself. I sincerely ask that everyone keep in mind that this game has been created by an entire team of hardworking, dedicated people. I hope everyone will keep an open mind about what they've created. Finally, I hope that everyone involved may resolve their differences in an amicable and respectable or respectful way with love and respect to you all. Jennifer Hale. Is SAG a weak union? That seems like a weak rate. A thousand dollars a session. It just depends on what we're talking about. And also remember, that's the bottom. It depends on how many hours a session is, and it that's the bottom. You're talking about the bottom, okay? That's the minimum. Uh, uh, saying that SAG is a fucking weak union because you're pointing to the minimum that you have to pay, like every Tom, Dick, and Harry that's a part of the fucking union is, you know... There's a reason why Japanese studios refuse to fucking work with unionized uh, voice actors. Remember, that's the minimum, and the other person, the original voice actor, was getting paid four times that for each individual uh, session. Oh, so hail is a scab? No, this would not be scabbing in that situation. Unless there was already like uh, some... You can't, you can't say someone is scabbing when there are negotiations happening. There's no strike. What the... F how is a leftist... How is a... First of all, Jennifer Hale is a part of a fucking union, Okay. You, you, what do you mean, scabbing? If they're having individual contract negotiations with individual actors, okay, and trying to figure out who to move with, and there is no fucking strike, that, that doesn't mean that they're scabbing, okay? Because even when you're in a union, you are still competing with other actors for the same position. They're both a part of the same union. That's not how that works. Some of you are completely oblivious to how this works even though i have talked about this process time and time again it's getting real general strike in here okay it's getting real anarchy general strike uh, subreddit uh, attitudes in here Jennifer Hill organized VA union meetings at her house. Yeah. Bracing for the generalization anarchists, generalizing, bracing for generalizing anarchists in the chat. Okay, well... Anyone want a general strike tomorrow? You in? Yeah. People are so motivated by raw emotion that like they want shit on Jason Schreier immediately without like even considering what his like work uh, features, whether it be his I incessant reporting on burnout, whether it be his like uh, consistent advocacy for, uh, you know, the workers on the side of uh and, and not being on the side of developers, but rather being on the side of workers in that situation, or publishers. Um, general strikes have happened successfully in the past, just so you know. Don't knock the whole concept just because Twitter exists. You are making it so hard for me not to shit on Anna Kitties, okay? I'm trying so desperately to maintain some, some harmony. Okay, but God damn, brother, just, just shower and take a deep breath and then you can come back to it. Okay. I 
I've never said the general strikes won't work. Just that it won't happen on Reddit. You need union organizing to be able to do that. You need strike funds. You need a year at least of preparation to be able to put that together, okay? Like, you can't just say, I'm doing a strike tomorrow and don't come to work. That's not how this works. Oh, my God, dude. And he says, we got streamers to fund us. I'm losing it. 